Hello, welcome to the newest installment in our series, Focus on Fabulous. I'm Colleen, and I am so excited to be your host today as we get to meet a woman who is fabulous in her own right, Miss Jessica Fernandez. Thank you so much for being here with me today, Jess. I really appreciate it. So we're just going to dive right in and ask, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe your family, where you're from? Sure. Uh, so I'm 32 years old. I grew up in Wayne, New Jersey, a uh, suburb of New York City. Um, I'm married three years. It'll be three years in October to the most amazing man. Uh, we have a daughter together who's 20 months old. Her name is Brielle. And we actually have another little bun on board, a little boy coming in September. <laughs> Super excited to meet him and round out our family. Um, we have two cats, Whiskey and Penny, and we're currently living in uh, Brick, New Jersey, which is about 15 minutes from the Point Pleasant boardwalk. Um, we're avid New Jersey Devils fans, despite the season we've been having recently. Um, but our family does love all things Disney, and we're really excited to go to the parks, um, you know, once everything kind of calms down a little bit. Um, I do work full time as a trash and recycling coordinator for a major company, and I work my Mary Kay business part time. Um, when I'm not working, obviously, I'm with my family. We do a lot outdoors. Uh, we hike, we travel. Uh, we just like going on adventures. That's our, our biggest thing. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of that. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations on the family and on the little one. Your daughter is so adorable. I just love getting to see her on camera. I can't wait to meet her in person. I <laughs> know, oh, soon, soon, soon. She is such a little spitfire. She's the best. Oh, oh and she's <laughs> just the best big sister. That she is. She will be a, an amazing big sister. Oh. <laughs> okay, so moving on, can you tell us about a moment that you are most proud of? For yourself, because I know you could go on and on about your little one, but for yourself, something that you are most proud of. Of course. Um, so obviously not including the little one, um, buying our house, that um, we were living in an apartment at the time. We had just gotten married, so we had no savings, nothing saved up. It was, our credit was not the best. Um, <laughs> and we found out we were pregnant and within six months, we completely turned our finances around, saved up enough for a down payment and purchased our home, fixed it up. We lived in it for five days before my daughter made her appearance. So that honestly is the one thing that I am the most proud of. Well, that just took so much focus and, you know, just sheer will, I think, to really kind of put your mind to something and persevere and just get it done. So I am so proud of you, my friend, because that's an amazing thing to do. And and talk about timing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy cow, I didn't realize it was just five days. Wow, that's, I knew it was close, but that's super close, Jess. Wow. <laughs> we cut it so close. We joke about oh. it all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's inspiring because how many people have a goal or they just think oh I, it just can't be done and you you did it so that's inspiring to women who may hear this and know that you can do it too so that's awesome you can do anything <laughs> yes so what is your next personal goal uh so our next small and I say small because it's not monetarily um but it's to renovate our kitchen um <sighs> but our next big big goal is I'm trying to buy a house for my parents so that they can move closer. Right now they're about two hours away and um, they really only see my daughter for a couple of hours every week. So I really wanna bring them closer. Oh, that just warms my heart. I'm gonna cry. What an amazing, amazing goal. Both of those goals, so amazing, so heartfelt. That just shows what an awesome daughter you are to be able to even think to do that, so. I'm going to be praying for you and pulling for you because I know that you can do it. And what a tremendous gift for not just for your parents, but for your children. What an amazing gift you'll be giving them. That's so, so cool, Jess. That's amazing. Um, so I'm actually very curious and I've heard a bit of the story in the background, 
but because we do know each other through our Mary Kay, I'm curious, how did all of this life story that you shared with us lead you to Mary Kay? Like, when did you start? How did that all happen? Sure. Uh, so I had gone to a couple of parties when I was younger um, and I just really, I love the product. I loved everything that everybody did, um, but I officially started in May of 2014. So about seven years ago. Um, and at the time I was living on my own in an apartment in North Jersey. And, you know, I just kind of joined for the discount and make a little bit of extra money. Um, so that, that was kind of what hooked me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what has made you stay? Like, what about your decision? Has anything changed in the way that you look at your Mary Kay business? Has it, you know, has your why changed or why you've stayed in it changed? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, it, at first it was just, you know, discounts, a little bit of extra money. Um, and then I had decided to move to central Jersey to, um, be with my husband and, um, my business has been with me through every major milestone you could think of, you know, single, uh, living on your own, living with someone, uh, marriage, moving, raising a family. It's just, it's given me the flexibility to grow and to just be a, a better person and, and connect to people and emotionally, spiritually, physically, everything I feel has started in that starter kit, which is crazy because you buy it and you're like, oh, it's a hundred dollars. What is it? What is it going to bring? It brings everything. It's amazing. Right. And now it's not even that it's $30. Can you imagine? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> so of all the things that you've gotten to do in your Mary Kay, what's been your most favorite MK memory, so to speak. Going to seminar. Uh, <laughs> it is a, a, just shy of a week, but an amazing week filled with inspirational women and people really of all walks of life. And you see them on stage and, and it makes everything real. They say dreams are born in seminar. And it is so true. I, I couldn't even describe to you the feeling, the the pulse that goes through the crowd that comes off that stage. It is my favorite, favorite memory. And the sisterhood of all the amazing women that you meet is just, it's amazing. There's no other word for it. <laughs> it really is. I've had the privilege of being there with you yeah. and it really, and just validate what you're saying is 100% true. So before I let you run, I want to just kind of shift gears a little bit because while our MK bubble is awesome and fun and I could talk to you about it all day, I do want to get some other fun info if you don't mind the questions. Okay. So we got into, into your MK world a little bit, into your life. So when you were little, when you were a kid, is this life what you plan for yourself? Is it, you know, what did you want to be when you grow up? So to speak, I guess. <laughs> um, so initially I wanted to be a pediatrician, um, but I very quickly realized that I don't do well with like blood and needles. And I'm a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> <laughs> so I realized that wasn't going to work. Um, but I never knew after that, what I wanted to do. I just, the only thing that I knew was I wanted to be a mom. So I kind of took that and uh, my husband and I have been bouncing around the idea of being foster parents. You know, once our little ones are a little bit bigger, opening our home to other children who need to be loved. Oh my gosh, Jess, that is amazing. What an amazing way to share that gift and love that you both already have for your own children to be able to kind of expand on that and, and just share with kids who are in need. That's such an awesome, awesome gift. So thank you for, for that. I'm praying for you that that is a dream come true because I think it would be a dream come true, not only for you, but for the lives that you'd be able to touch through that dream. So that's so amazing. Um, and the million dollar question, <laughs> if, if time and money were no object at all, what would you love to do? 
travel travel there is so much out there to experience i i want to experience as much as possible life is too short to be stuck in one place all the time so i would oh definitely be traveling <laughs> Well, there's really nothing better I can say. So we'll end on that note because that is so true. Life is too short. Enjoy it while we have it. Thank you so much, Jess, for your time today. Thank you to those of you who have joined us. And if you had fun, awesome. Please put something in the comments so that we know that you joined us and enjoyed what we had to say. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Okay, I'm going to...